a couple of colored pencils and a sketchbook and a pencil and then probably a pencil sharpener. Just have one. Or if you're doing it digitally, then you're going to need an iPad or whatever you, you're using to draw digitally. <laughs> so what you are going to be starting out doing, I'm just gonna um, do my first lips with my pencil because that's always like a nice way because you can actually erase, except for the fact that I don't have an eraser on my thing. Um, but I have one, so that'll be okay. So I always just start out by drawing a little line and you can start drawing this anywhere on your page. It really doesn't matter. I'm just gonna do the top corner. Um, so yeah, I, I just draw a line and then the little tiny curves going up. Then I start curving up and then somewhere in the middle, so around here, maybe, uh, maybe a little bit over there, curve down and then curve back up and then slant downwards. And I don't really like the look of that. So I might erase a little tiny bit of that and then redo that. So there you have your top lip, like before the shaving and everything. Then to do the bottom lip, basically you just curve down from there and make a little thing, um, curve down and then basically like a straight line and then curve down. And then you can round the corners a little bit if you want. It makes it look softer, I guess. Um, and then lips kind of curve up. So you can make a little tiny curve there if you want. Uh, and then I just realized this is kind of off-center, so I might fix that a little bit. And then sometimes when I'm drawing lips, I realize that, I, that it actually looks better if I flip it upside down. So I'll just shade my lips, finish that, and then be like, hmm, maybe I should turn this upside down. And then it looks better upside down because I messed something up. Um, so if you feel like you need to do that after we finish shaving and everything, then you can do that. Um, and then to draw the mouth, I just go from in, like in between these where the bottom lip and top lip connect. And I make a little line and then curve up just a tiny little bit and go back to the middle of the other side. And then make a little um, divot, I guess, underneath that little curve that you did at the beginning. And then it'll probably look something like that. It does not need to look exactly like that. And yeah, so that's the basic line art for lips. And then after that, you can shade in. So I'm gonna go on with the shading. So I always shade it like there's light just coming from the front. And then, but you can shade it if there's light coming like that way, that way, that way, that way. Um, or that way actually, because then the light would be around the edges. But for this pair of lips, I'm just gonna shade it like the light is going that way. So I always start with like a nice little dark curve, like curve-like shape like this. I always shade like that. Um, it didn't work. And then it just keeps, and then I keep, I put a lot of pressure on it back here. And then I loosen up the pressure. I don't know if that's the right word. 
as it goes on so that it looks like it's getting lighter. And then just press that. And then you can do it on the other side. I think the curved, uh, shading it with the curved shape gives it a little tiny bit more dimension, I would think, or 3D personality. That's not the word, but yeah. Um, so you're gonna have something that looks somewhat like that. And then if you want, you can blend it a little bit with your finger or you can run and go get a Q-tip from your bathroom or something. And just do that and blend it in a tiny little bit. Then once you're finished with that, you're probably gonna wanna shade in the top just a tiny little bit too. Just to make it look a little tiny bit more 3D. So you can use that same curve shading technique thing. And then you're probably gonna wanna shade in the bottom too, just to make it look like the lips are closing in on one another. I don't know if that's actually the case, but. And so for this one, I just use little tiny like strokes back and forth, like lines. <laughs> uh, and then make it really dark in the middle between the top lip and the bottom lip. And then as it gets lighter, you can make it lighter. That, or less pressurized or whatever. Um, so it will look something like that. And then you can move on to the other side. And for those of you who are wondering, we're gonna be doing like, we're gonna fill or get as close as you can get to filling a sketchbook page um, with lips. We're gonna basically fill this whole page. So um, if it's big, that's totally, if these are big, that's totally okay. If they're small, that's totally okay. They're somewhere in the middle, also totally okay. Uh, just make sure that you still have a tiny little bit of room and then if you don't, that is fine. You just might need another piece of paper or you could probably flip the page over too. Um, so that's what the top lip looks like so far. And then I'm gonna shade in this little tiny bit too. Just color it really dark because that's like Mouth, basically. Okay, and then I'm gonna shade in this little bit there. And we'll look something like that. a little bit darker. Okay. So I think we're ready to move on, but the bottom lip is basically the top, the same as the top lip. It's just the curved shading kind of thing. And then boom, first pair of lips is done. This is just extra. Uh, there's like, you ever notice how on somebody's face, 
it's like this in the space between our nose and their lips. Uh, I'm honestly not talented at drawing these, so I don't know if I'm actually drawing these right, but I'm just gonna scribble around here and blend it in. And then, and then you can do like shading around here that will make it look like those two pieces of skin. Oh, oh gosh, I need, oh, that didn't look good. I need a better name for that. We will do a colored one. So yeah, I just have a bunch of shades of red here and then one little like, what's this called? Cream color that I'm gonna use for the highlights. So I might make this one slightly larger because I used up not a lot of my face. We are going to start with the, um, the darker color, like whatever the darkest color you have is. Uh, hopefully, it can be black or it can be like dark uh, brown. I'm using this like Tuscan red or whatever it's called. Um, it's basically like reddish, brownish. Yeah, like dark red, brown mix thing. <laughs> so, yes. Basically, we're gonna do the same thing that we did with the first lip. Thing. <laughs> I'm just gonna draw a line. Too big. And then go up and mark where the middle is. I think the middle is somewhere over there. And so we're gonna dip down. Uh, rise up <laughs> and then go back over so it'll look something like that and then dip down it's too far too long fix that too yeah I do a lot of going back over my drawings and fixing them because uh, they didn't look too good. So, yeah. Um, so if you ever feel the need to do that, it's a good decision, good strategy, I think at least. Uh, so, yes, see that's good. And then, we're going to use the same technique that we used over there with the um, like C-shaped uh, shading. And so I'm just going to outline this first, just in the dark color that I have so that I know where my lips are going to be. <laughs> uh, and then after you finish that, it's probably going to be somewhat easier to shade because you don't just have sketchy lines, you have actual strong <laughs> lines, which I find are easier to color in. Um, and then you're just gonna do the same C-shaped thing that you were doing for the pencil one. The... And start out dark. The pressure. And then 
it lighter. Color lighter. And then, poof. One quarter of the first layer is done. Then I'm just gonna do that. And, Oh, um, yes, you can, um, you can just do one, that's perfect. And see light, that is totally okay. Um, I'm really glad you had fun. Thank you so much for joining. And yes, please post the first one. I want to see everybody's. <laughs> okay, bye. Sure to leave. Yeah, I think, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going. Sorry, I'm bad at checking your chat. Okay, bye. Oof. And just keep doing that C shape shading thing. Um, and then I'm gonna put a line like this as well. And then it'll look something like this. It'll probably look better. Um, <laughs> but yeah. shape that I drew is not my favorite, but it's okay. And then let's start on the bottom lip and let's do C shape shading. And keep going, keep making it lighter. Other side. done with the first layer and I will give everybody a second to finish that um I'm really excited to see how everyone's turn turn this out because like they all look the pencil ones look so good I'm really excited to see the colored pencil ones and then make sure you post it so that I can see all of your amazing work because they're gonna look so good bye Does anybody need more time or are we good to go? Okay. Yes, that's awesome. Okay. Perfect. So. The second layer, I am going to move up to this slightly lighter color, which I'm just using Prisma colors, 48 set or whatever. Uh, so this is crimson red, it's what I'm using, but you do not have to use what I'm using. So I am actually just gonna color over this, just lightly, so that it looks similar because it didn't actually look that similar. So I'm just coloring over the first layer with the slightly lighter 
darker color. <laughs> um, yeah. And then I'm gonna shade this in. I'm gonna shade the bottom in. And then start actually shading it in with the dark color that I was using. And then I'll go right again with the crimson or whatever it was called. And then I might move on to the middle because that's looking a little bit brat up, I guess. Or not shaded. <laughs> Boring. I don't know. So yeah, that shape that I did, not the best, but the shading's looking okay. <laughs> yes, prism colors are very nice. They're really awesome. Okay. Is everyone ready to move on to the third layer? If you're not totally okay, you can wait a little bit. Yeah, um, yeah, that feature is pretty annoying sometimes when just direct messages to whoever you clicked on or whatever. But I mean, it's helpful if you wanted to direct message to that person. Uh, but cool. So, yes, I think I'll move on. Go right there. So this is the crimson red that I was using. Um, and I'm just gonna color in this like somewhat colored but not really colored part right here. Um, it has all the white spots because I wasn't coloring it really dark. I'm gonna color this red really dark and make it look very highlighted. I'm gonna color it Lightly, it's right there. And the white spot that I was saving for the highlight. And then I'll do the same thing that I did on the other side over here where I just color in like the, uh, the, the dark color. I color a little bit over that to blend it. And then I start coloring in this little whitish spot there. I kind of went over there, so I might add some more dark in um, the Tuscan red or whatever it's called. Um, And then we do the same thing over here on the bottom.
Mm -hmm. I might just color like over most of the dark red or the dark brown thing that I was using before. Um, and then just color back over that because I would find that makes it a little bit easier, shadier. I don't know. And then color lightly over the little white spot. And then do the same thing. Color will go white-ish spots. And then go back over with the dark red. This is why I love colored pencils because you can layer them and at the in the end it looks really realistic and I feel like the Prismacolor pencils um they do that like really well <laughs> they layer very nicely so yes that's why I love them very really nice okay and then just like shading that part with the red a little tiny bit then that layer is done. Okay. Uh, is everybody ready to move on to the next layer? If you're not, just chat and I will wait in a hurry. I hope. Okay. So, um... I'll move on to the next layer. If you're not ready, just please chat or say, like, I'm not ready. And for this, I'm using a uh, magenta. I don't know. Am I? Is it actually gonna work? Oh yeah, that works. Um, and I'm just gonna color in a little white spot. Just to to help that look a little bit more highlighted, but still realistic. And I'm gonna go back over with that dark red that I was using and shade it in some more because we all love shading, right? If you don't, I imagine you hate this lesson. Um, but this is mostly shading. So, wahoo. And that didn't look good. So I'm gonna go back over with the lighter red, but not the magenta, the tusk, or crisms, crisms, cri crimson, not crimson. Um, and fix that up a little tiny bit. Maybe go over the magenta. And it has this nice highlighted look while still being like realistic. Oh, thank you. Yes, mm. I like drawing red lips because red is a very nice color and there are a lot of really pretty shades of red. So it's helpful to draw. That's red. Um, so yeah, I actually might grab a little like black or maybe dark, really dark brown out of my little pencil case here and use that to shade in because it's kind of losing its touch there. So we go in and reshade it just a tiny little bit with the red. And you don't have to do this, I'm just doing this because um, it'll probably make it look a little bit shadier. 
There should probably be a better word for that. I don't know if there actually is. Um, so I'm just gonna go back in, around, shade it in a little tiny bit. And yes, then I might go back in with that red. So after I do this, and reapply that. So that it looks Better. Layering, layering, layering is fun. Yes. Layering makes it shiny. Good. Okay. So now we're here with the lips that are pretty well shaded. Um, they're very shaded. And yes. Um, so yeah, this is basically just the same technique as the pencil one, except there's a little bit more layering because there are different colors and it's very, I don't know, uh, shady. I don't, um, shaded, that's the word. Yeah, um, because that's shaded because I can really put a lot of pressure which I guess you can do with um like a pencil a color pencil too but it, it just won't look as good because there's uh because it has those little tiny white spots if you go um oh gosh light on paper uh so yes we're almost done with this one. Just a little bit more highlights. So I'm gonna use this, uh, whatever this is. <laughs> it's like a light pinkish red color. And I'm going to use that to basically highlight very subtly. So, ish, I don't know. Um, but I'm going to highlight the upper part of the lips because that's probably where the light would be hitting it the most. But that didn't really work because I think there's too much red on there already. So that's where this cream comes in. Uh, or like white or whatever you have. I would use white but it's kind of broken so it just always breaks and it's a, it's a weird white so I just leave that in the box and use cream whenever I need to highlight the lip. So basically, we're just gonna make a little line that basically follows the shape of the lip 